Once upon a time, there was a railway, called the Deben Valley Light Railway, and one snowy day the phone rang. Hello? Oh, hello. This is Nat Gortag at Aldebra. No, oh, we have a bit of a problem. Farmer Gellert wants to be delivering to Christmas Tree to Aldebra today, but uh, it's snowed in. Yes, that is a problem. Oh, is there any way you could get a train for all? I'll see what I can do. And by the way, it's pronounced Aldebra. Cheerio! Said Jack. Well, we'll see. There may be hope for our Christmas Tree after all. Grumbled Nat. Zack hurried down to the badly drawn engine shed in which one of the locomotives of the Deben Valley Light Railway rested. He started a fire in her firebox. River Deben was the engine's name. Paper and small bits of wood were used to light the fire. Soon these were well ablaze. Coal was then added to get the fire really going. This generated the heat to provide the steam. With the fire roaring merrily, Zack oiled round the wheels and the axle boxes and moving parts and checked the water level before going to open the great shed doors. Gosh, what a lot of snow, Zack said. With a shovel, he started to dig the snow out for the first few metres of line, and uncovered an old tatty coal truck, which was in front of the engine shed. There's a snow plough in the back of this shed, said Zack, and he fetched it, and dragged it out to the front of the coal truck, before attaching it firm onto the front. With this, we can plough the line clear of the snow, said Zack. The fire was now roaring merrily in the River Deben's firebox. Some more coal was added, and the River Deben was taken out of the engine shed and coupled up to the snow plough. The ploughing was difficult, and several run ups were usually needed to clear the snow out of the way. But with a full boiler of steam, the line was soon cleared. The plough was working effectively. They soon arrived. You got through them! Yelled Nat into Zack's ear. They then started out towards Gellert's farm. The rails were very slippy, the river even spun her wheels. With light of snow on this section of the line, they were flying along soon. They noted some telegraph damage. They soon arrived at Gellert's farm. Finally you have arrived, said Farmer Gellert. We have your Christmas tree. Oh, so you do, said Zack. Well, I'll see what trucks I can get back at Albra. Zack then departed on River Deben and left the snow plough behind at Gellert's farm. He was sure he had seen some suitable trucks in one of the sidings at Albra. There, a vinegar transporter and a guard van. They do nicely. The guard van was coupled up to River Deven. Are you coming, René? said Zack. René, one of the older workers on the railway, got into the guard's van. 
and off they went. Between them, Zack, René and Farmer Gellert, they hoisted the Christmas tree onto the vinegar transporter. Zack got back in the cab, René in his guard's van, and Gellert decided to join them. He stood next to the tree. And off the merry train went back to Albury Station. Nat was delighted. It was shunted back into the siding. He said oh, Zack and Nat. Oh, and the Christmas tree was uprighted, ready in time for the Christmas carol session, and all was well. Merry Christmas from the DVLR. <laughs>